Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Jason Phillips. He's the Simpson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Jason, it's in the middle of summer and people are out enjoying themselves, maybe even fishing in some of their farm ponds, but it's probably something that we need to think about mm -hmm. is, you know, so sometimes we have those tragic pond turnovers. That's right. And, you know, over the last five years, I would, I would say I've probably gotten more pond management questions than I did previously. I've always had a lot of people interested in ponds, but it seems even more prevalent here over the last five years that a lot of people want a farm pond, they want to manage their fish in it, and the worst thing that can possibly happen is a turnover that causes, you know, causes you to lose a lot of your big fish, if not all the fish in the pond. Okay, so explain for people who might not have ever experienced a pond turnover, what happens? Typically, a pond turnover occurs when we get our first rain, um, cool rain in September. So here's what happens. Over the summer months, typically, you know, we've got the hot dog days of summer and the sun's beaming down on this pond. And so you've got the top layer, which, which is oxygenated and, and good water. So you get that heat and it's beaten down, it's beaten down, well the heat naturally wants to rise. And what happens is, is that there's a separation. It's called stratification, but there's a separation between the top warm layer, which is oxygenated, and the cool bottom layer. And that cool bottom layer becomes stagnant. There's no oxygen. And so what happens is, is in the fall, of, well, typically late summer, first cold or cool rain, it cools that surface temperature. And so when that surface temperature cools down and gets to the same temperature as that cooler water at the bottom, it mixes together. And that's called a, a pond turnover. And at that point, oxygen levels can be too low for fish to survive. Okay, well that sounds like something we definitely do not want, but what can we do about it? It does seem, for whatever reason, that certain ponds have more of a tendency to turn over than others. I've seen some that have never turned over, and I've seen some that do it on a regular basis. And it is, it is a, a sight for sore eyes when you pull up and you see all the big fish dying or dead. And it does kill the big fish first because they require the most oxygen. And it, once, once the pond turns over, there's really nothing we can do at that point. It's an Typically, we get our calls after the turnover has occurred. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, um, you know, at that point, we really can't, we really can't do a whole lot. And uh, oftentimes, you can tell by looking at a pond, not only from the death, you know, the fish, but also the pond color changes. A lot of times that black, it'll get a tannic, dark look, kind of like tea. And a lot of times you'll know that the pond has turned over. Um, so we need to prevent this. You know, we need mm -hmm. to prevent this issue from arising. And so, how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is consistently throughout the summer months, we need to keep those layers mixing. We need to not allow that that layer, it, your pond, to layer. If those layers continually are mixed, then that stratification doesn't occur, and you won't have you won't have a pond turnover. So you need something agitating the water aerating the water. So aeration of some kind is what's going to help uh, to prevent that. And obviously, you know, the larger the pond, you're going to need a little bit more, a little bit more aeration. And some people say, might say, Jason, I don't have a way to get electricity down there to, you know, to run a, a full-time aerator. But, you know, even mechanically, if you can get in there and turn the water, you know, might make it a family affair where you get in. <laughs> Any little bit helps, especially if you have a lot of stagnation. Everything helps, and uh, you know, there's lots of options out there. There's even some solar options. So if you can't get if you can't get electricity to the pond, you might look at some solar options. But anything to agitate that water and to keep those two layers from separating, that's going to really reduce the chance of uh, of you having any kind of an issue and and a fish kill relating to a pond turnover. All right, Jason, we'll certainly appreciate the information. If you have questions, make sure to contact your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.